Be honest, when was the last time you said, cool, I can't wait to spend my evening chopping up three hours of footage into 30 30 second clips? Yeah, me neither. Hey everyone, I'm Alex, and if you're anything like me, editing long videos into snackable social clips feels less like creative work and more like punishment for actually making content. The good news is that AI is slowly taking the tedium out of that process, freeing up time for the fun stuff like ideas, testing, and maybe catching up on sleep. Today I'm walking through three types of AI clip tools you'll run into, what they're great at, where they fall flat, and why one tool ends up being the one I reach for when speed actually matters. Let's start with the tool that feels like the ultra-organized friend who hands you a list of timestamps and says, here, pick. Tools in this category don't magically create viral clips for you. Instead, they give you insanely useful metadata like speaker timestamps, filler word markers, rough scene boundaries, and text-based searching. It's like having a robot assistant whispering key information about where the best moments in your recording are located. If you want to stay fully hands-on with total editorial control, these transcript-based tools are absolutely gold. They let you search your footage like a document, pull exact quotes, and fix tiny edits quickly. For interview-heavy content or podcasts where what's said is everything, this method is perfect. They're also fast at loading and usually integrate cleanly with your existing workflow. The downside is they don't do the heavy lifting of finding the actually viral moments for you. You still have to manually choose which snippet will perform best on social media platforms. Also, some features rely on cloud transcription, which can misbehave if your internet connection is flaky. And while basic versions are often free, the good stuff like better transcription or team collaboration usually costs money. It's worth it if you value total control, but it's not great if you're drowning in content volume. Okay, next up is the I'll just do it for you type of tool. These are the tools that kick the door down, scan your footage, and start spitting out ready to post clips automatically. This category sits squarely in the camp of tools that feel like someone finally invented a time machine for creators. You drop in raw long form content, and the AI automatically finds the punchlines, reaction moments, and high engagement snippets. It tags scenes, scores clips for virality potential, and can export platform-ready files without you having to babysit the timeline. What I love about this approach is that the system learns. The more you use it, the better it understands your style, what your audience engages with, and which moments are worth amplifying. The feature that automatically finds viral clips means you don't have to fish for the good bits. The system prioritizes them for you. The auto schedule function lets you set a posting cadence and then actually forget about the grind as the AI queues and publishes clips based on what you set. And the content calendar puts everything in one place so you can see what's going out, when and where without juggling 20 tabs. This type of tool also nails the speed factor. Whether you're dealing with a 45 minute webinar or a three hour live stream, the AI services dozens of clip options in just minutes. There's also built-in optimization for platform formats and caption generation, so you're not reformatting the same clip five different times. But of course, nothing is perfect. Some creators prefer more manual tweaks. They like to choose the exact in and out points, or they want creative transitions or overlays that need a human hand. While these tools give editing controls, the real joy is in the automation. If you're allergic to anything that's not 100% handcrafted, this might feel too automated. Still, for most creators who need consistent volume and output, this approach is a massive win. Last category is the middle ground tools. Think simpler desktop solutions that blend automation with manual control. These give you sliders and toggles. Choose sensitivity for highlight detection, set thresholds for how many clips to keep, or just how aggressive the trim should be. They're approachable, work offline in many cases, and are generally friendly for beginners. They're often great for creators who want a fast starting point, but also enjoy spending a little time polishing the final result. Where these tools shine is in finding that perfect balance. You get some of the benefits of automation, but still retain the power to steer the final product yourself. They tend to have approachable user interfaces and are cheaper or even free for basic use. But compared to the depth of fully automated solutions, they can feel a bit shallow, less smart about long-term learning, often lacking an integrated content calendar. Some of these tools also keep too many clips by default, so you still end up needing a manual culling pass at the very end. Let's do a quick recap so you can pick the right tool for your workflow. If you want to stay completely hands-on and love precision editing via transcripts, go with the transcript first style tools. If you want that middle ground solution that gives you control without starting from scratch, the slider-based apps are solid and beginner-friendly. But if your priority is volume, speed, and a real end-to-end -end content workflow, from clip discovery all the way to publishing, the fully automated system is built for that. Why am I leaning hard toward the automated option for most creators? Because it's not just about making a single clip. It's about scaling content reliably. The auto editing feature is tuned to find moments that translate successfully across all platforms. The auto schedule feature means you can set and forget your posting cadence. So your channels stay active even when you're in the weeds on a launch or taking a break. And the content calendar gives you oversight and flexibility. Reschedule, swap clips between platforms or batch edit metadata all in one place. Also a few practical notes people always ask about. Yes, these tools handle different aspect ratios and auto generate captions. Yes, it can bulk export to all the common social formats you need. And yes, for creators who still want to stay hands-on, the system still gives you manual control when you want to tweak a clip. To put it in plain terms, transcript tools are the best friend for precision. 
middle ground apps are a good starter kit. The fully automated assistant is the one that actually frees up your entire schedule. For events, interviews, webinars, or anything where consistency and volume matter, this kind of tool helps you get from raw footage to dozens of polished clips without the usual grind. So that's the full breakdown. Whether you're buried under hours of footage or just trying to be smarter about posting, the right AI tool can save you hours every single week. If you enjoy comparing 47 almost identical takes where the only difference is someone's eyebrow raise, then sure, keep doing that manually. For the rest of us who want to spend our creative energy creating, rather than slicing footage, try out a workflow with the best options where they actually make sense. All right, that's it for today. If you want a walkthrough of how the automated tools find viral clips in practice, or a demo where I take a 90 minute interview and turn it into 20 ready to post clips, drop a comment and I'll make it happen. See you in the next one. Peace out.